What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to talk with you about eyesight. Very specifically, where should your eyes be looking on your opponent? And then at the end of the episode, I want to talk with you about how you can use your eyes to fake people out and create openings and land shots. So let's get Bob over here just so you guys can see a little bit better when I'm looking towards him. First thing that we should recognize is we're specifically talking about MMA, kickboxing, karate, one of the styles where we're using the lower half of our body as well. When we're using the lower half of our body, very often when I go to seminars and such, people are looking up, looking up high. But when you look up high on somebody, you lose sight of the lower body. Very dangerous when there's low kicks, front kicks to the body, head kicks coming, you want to be able to see, <clears throat> excuse me, what's happening down low. Now, if I look up at the eyes, like we said, the eyes lie. I see this very often in people. They look at somebody else's eyes and they think, okay, I'm looking at his eyes. It's going to tell me everything I need to know, but that's not true. And it's actually a very bad habit. And a lot of beginners don't understand that. What we want to do is we want to make a little triangle between the shoulders and the belly button right in that zone there. And I'm going to look right at that zone, right in the middle of the chest, not intently, like if there's a logo there, I'm trying to read what's on the logo. I'm just more focusing in that general area. When I look there, I can still see the head, but the head's not going to attack me. So I don't really need to be worried about being able to find that and defend anything from that area. I can just see it and I can still tag it while looking at the chest. Next, I want to recognize that when I look at the chest, I can still see what's happening with the legs. And then obviously the arms are going to be in my focus. But when we make the line or the triangle in this general area, anytime a punch comes, there's shifting in the body. And that's what's very important. We want to see body motion because if the guy just goes like that and it's just an arm punch, it doesn't really matter. I mean, if I just go, it's not going to have the power of the whole body rotating. So we're looking at the torso. That's the most important thing. Don't get drawn in to looking up high or looking down low. And even when we're throwing low kicks, if I go to throw a low kick on somebody and I'm looking right down at their leg, that's a bad habit. We don't need to do that. We look at the chest and we throw our low kick. We look at the chest and we throw our high kick. Now let's talk very quickly about using our eyes to create openings and to cause the opportunity to land. So let's say I want to throw across to the body. I take my eyes, which would normally be in here, and I really look down. And if my opponent's watching my eyes at all, he goes, oh shoot, he's going to hit me to the body. Maybe I do that once. I touch him to the body, then I look down and I go, oh, and I go up high to the head. I can do the same thing with my low kicks. I can target with my eyes down to the leg to use that as a fake to come up high. Like I said at the beginning of the episode, the eyes lie. Do not trust them. Do not track them or watch them when you're sparring or in the fight. It's dangerous. The only time I really make sure that I'm looking at somebody's eyes is if I've hurt them. If I tag them, boom, and I go, oh, okay, are they hurt? Now I'm checking their eyes. What's happening up there? Aside from that, I make no eye contact. And remember, use your eyes for fakes. I look up high. I kick down low. I look down low, I kick up high. Always switching up levels. But that will not work if you have somebody who's advanced who's not paying attention to what your eyes are doing. So it's more something you can pull off at beginner intermediate level. So guys, this is a question that I get all the time. I just wanted to address it very quickly for you in case it's a question that you've been wanting an answer to. Eyes right in on the chest level. Use them for faking. And if you ever hit somebody hard and you want to see how damaged they are, then yes, take a look at their eyes and they will tell you everything you need to know. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this short episode. If you did, give it a like. If you have not already, join the channel and get subscribed. Train hard, guys. I'll see you back here soon for another video.